wealth transfer, dreaming of fruits or fruit trees. Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Um, there's this big hype about the wealth transfer that is coming or that is already here. Amen. Um, and there are people who say that they have not seen it or they have not received dreams from the Lord even. Okay. Now it's possible that the Lord has already communicated this to you, but you have not been able to interpret the dreams that the, that the Lord has given you because it's not always when the dreams come clear. Okay. Um, a lot of dreams can come symbolically. And if you are good at interpreting your dreams, um, you'll be able to, to get the meaning. But also understand that dreams of this nature do not come alone. You'll usually get a series of this dream, okay? If you have dreamt of fruits or a fruit tree, just know that there will be other dreams that will follow. They don't go alone, okay? Now, that is if they are referring to this wealth transfer that I'm talking about, okay? Or perhaps you may not want to use the word wealth transfer. Then perhaps you might call it prosperity or success or progress, okay? Um, guys, I have my notes here, okay? Um, so when you dream of, a, of, of fruits or a fruit tree, it's a very good dream. It's a very good sign. Okay, um, and please note, I, the, I am not excluding any fruit, okay? I am not going to go into the, I know other people might ha, have a, a different outlook in terms of apples, like if you saw apples, because if you tell me apples, then I will have to ask you what color is the apple, was it green, was it yellow, was it red? But so that it's easy, for you to understand and also to to be able to um, interpret your own dreams in the future i just want to keep this simple and right now i'm talking about fruits all fruits because like i said these dreams don't go alone it will usually be followed by a series of other dreams whether the dreams be clear or whether they also come symbolically okay now Dreaming of fruits or fruit trees represents success, progress, big changes, elevation, prosperity, honor, rewards, fulfillment, um, achievement, and fruitfulness. Okay? So now, um, you will eat the fruit of your labor, but let's look at uh, the, the fruit itself um, or the fruit tree itself. It takes a long time. It takes a long time for a seed to grow to, a, to be a plant. And it takes time of watering and that care up until it's a, it's, a, it's a grown tree that can bear fruit. That takes time, okay? So with this dream, it indicates that you will enjoy the labor of your hands. And this could span over a work, uh, over hard work, uh, over 10 years, like over decades, okay? Even decades long efforts are rewarded, all right? Do not forget there's different kinds of trees. There's different kinds of trees. So whatever work you whatever you are grinding um whether it be a business or perhaps at your work at your place of employment you've always been that hard working uh employee but never felt uh rewarded never felt seen okay and perhaps you've moved on from job to job you need to understand that every single thing um every single effort the lord has seen the Bible says, um, <clears throat> it's in Proverbs, um, whatever thy hand findeth to do, do it with all thy might as if unto the Lord. So whatever work that you are doing, the Lord will bless. And the Lord is making note of that, okay? Whether other people see it or not, whether it is acknowledged or not, 
whether you are rewarded or not, it is noted. Okay? God himself has got his own rewards for your hard work. If you are rewarded at your place of work, hallelujah. But also if you are not, just know that God is also uh, noting, that is being noted. You will get rewards from, the, from your earthly boss and you will get a reward from the Lord. And if your earthly boss did not reward you, you can expect uh, you can expect more blessings from the Lord, because the Lord will make up for that. Amen. So also understand that with 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 the fruit, let's even talk about one fruit, a fruit in itself. Most fruits carry seeds with them. Now it, it, this represents multiplication. This represents plenty. This represents surplus. Because with this, just one fruit, you're able to go a long way. You're able to walk a long way. Now, I'm talking about dreams where you saw fruits, plural, not one. Whether it be fruits in a basket, fruits on a tree, or fruit or an orchard. Okay, that's what I'm, not, I'm referring to. And please do not misquote me. I did not say you eating a fruit. You can eat a fruit, but I'm if there are other fruits there. Do you understand? I just want to make sure that you understand that I'm talking about fruits. There must be fruits there. Okay? Not that you were eating a fruit. It implied there were fruits. No. You must have seen the fruits. Fruits in a basket or fruit on a tray. Just, just a, 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 a bunch, guys. Plural. There must be many fruits. Okay? Or fruits in a fruit bowl. Okay? Fruits. Um... Fruits in a basket or fruits on a tree, a single tree, or just uh, a, 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 an orchard, just many trees with fruits. And I'm talking about good, um, good healthy trees. I'm talking about ripe, ripe fruits, okay? I'm not talking about rotten uh, fruits. I'm not talking about a tree that looks funny or that looks like it's withered. And I'm not talking about fruits that look that have a peculiar color okay and i'm not talking about fruits that are not ripe i'm talking about fruit that is ready to be eaten that is ready to be harvested please note what i did not refer to i'm talking about and i did not speak about a tree that that has no fruit in it i'm talking about a tree that has fruits in it hallelujah and i'm talking about and if if there should be a tree with different fruits in it that is particular that is that is weird that's peculiar but if the fruits are healthy then 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 i feel that's an exception because remember like i said this dream doesn't go alone this dream just doesn't go alone there will be other dreams that will follow this and it's easy to to um to overlook and it might not be easy for you to to um to be able to group these dreams and understand that they mean the same thing okay i'm gonna be starting with the easy ones and with the easy signs and easy symbols up until the more the the, the, the difficult and perhaps hard to read um hard to read our dreams okay and i might also share a dream which you'll remember that i once remember i once dreamed something like this and then i got a, a promotion at work or I got, uh, I got a new position somewhere else. Amen. So, um, a fruit carries a seed. So it has that ability to multiply. And when you think of fruit, you're thinking surplus. The reason it's inclusive of fruits in a basket is because even just one fruit has got seeds. A lot of them have got plural seeds in them. But like I said, do not be caught up on that kind of a fruit it is. Like um, how many seeds are there? Like an F1, F1 only has one seed. So do not be caught up about that. We're talking about fruits. Amen. Now, it, it also means that great changes are coming. Great changes are coming. Look at your life right now and understand that you will look around and things will have changed. Amen. It, it's like your life is getting a... Uh, uh, a makeover amen so now you will be sought after you will be sought after this is like bye bye to lack bye bye to insufficiency 
okay this 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 is fruitfulness this is plenty this is surplus and then going back to um going back to your 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 life getting a makeover dreams like uh, a dream like this can also go in together with a dream perhaps you saw your living room getting a makeover whether it doesn't matter who was who was renovating it just know that it 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 it, it, it all just ties in with this okay i'm not even going to go deep in this in that because i just want to focus on the on the fruits amen and to try to answer a question that someone else might i'm just trying i just try to think of questions that uh, people might have that's why i address the the apple like what if i saw apples if you saw apples you saw apples i'm talking about fruits apple is a fruit okay if you want us if like uh, uh, if you want a teaching now on the on the on the apples then you have to break it down on what color is the apple but like i'm saying with regards to progress with regards to finances to elevation these dreams don't go alone so you do not have to be caught up in 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 apples just make a note like it, it was just fruits fine if it disturbs you that much then it was apples okay because chances are you might have seen an apple tree and other fruits there so you cannot let that disturb you or perhaps all you saw was just a, a, a basket of apples. Don't be caught up in that. Like I said, you need to look at other dreams that are supporting that. Amen. God speaks to us multiple times. I'm giving us different symbols, all saying the same thing, all just saying the same thing. Amen. Keep it simple, okay? And some could have seen themselves uh, plucking the fruit. Okay, if you see yourself picking up the fruit, like I said, there's nothing wrong. Again, as long as I just I just spoke about plural fruits and it's ripe, it's not rotten, it doesn't look funny, it doesn't look weird. And the tree itself doesn't look withered, doesn't look funny to you. Amen. <clears throat> and you do not necessarily have to own the, the basket or the tree. Or the orchard amen and always remember dreams do not come in one form the if dreams of wealth dreams of success dream of changes they all come in very different forms but they all mean the same thing amen <coughs> so um, I would like to get into the warning and uh, a word of caution now, please understand, I am a born again believer. Amen. So what I am, what I am sharing with you is what the Lord has revealed to me. And this is my, because I'm a heavy dreamer, I have had to learn to interpret my own dreams. And I do not know how other interpreters, dream interpreters, do interpret theirs. But this is how I interpret my dreams. I don't just go by one dream. You, I look at one dream and I sit on it for a minute and look at other dreams in the past or as I'm praying on it, the Lord may bring into remembrance some dreams that could be linked, that could give another sight, that could give a full picture, a better understanding, a better message into, 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 the, into the dream. Amen. So I never just go by, by one dream and, 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 and that's that. No. When I got a rapture dream, I did not just get the rapture dream and ran with it. No, I waited and I looked back and I waited again on the Lord for more dreams to try and understand um, what other dreams are supporting this. Not to say that in itself it's got no meaning, not to say in, its, in itself I don't believe, but it's because there's other dreams that are a, 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 puzzle, a, a piece of the puzzle to help me to understand so next time when you get a dream um always remember that there could be a dream in the past that is linked to this dream that you perhaps overlooked or perhaps this present dream can shine light on what you have overlooked or could open your eyes into understanding uh better or deeper into the dreams or dream that is coming amen
a word of caution. Look, if you are living in sin, if you are living in sin, look, to make a mistake and to live in, in, in conscious sin is two different things. Okay? Now, to put yourself in a position where you will be tempted or easily tempted, like, you should know better, you know? How can the fire burn you unless your clothes are off? I think that's in the that's in that's in the book of Proverbs too. Okay, that's in the book of Proverbs also. Um, so now, or oh, a person who is shacking with a partner, and you are busy praying and praying for the Lord to change the spouse, praying for the Lord to, uh, to uh, help you people to finally get married and do things right. Like you're still living in sin. You're still living in sin. Okay, you have to understand that if in order for you to, to receive blessings from the Lord, you have to walk in the light. Otherwise, um, God, is, God will be blessing um, disobedience, okay? And someone might say, um, right, or, um, or there could be in a relationship with a person they, they believe is their kingdom spouse, but they could be sleeping together. Like, you need to understand Fornication is fornication. Adultery is adultery. If you people are not uh, are not married, if you if if is not if you, you if you are not sharing a bed, um, if you are sharing a bed without holy matrimony, it's sin. Whatever way you wanna put it, in whatever language you want to put it, it's a sin. If you are living in conscious sin, it's a sin. Or perhaps you might. Find yourself in a situation where you are shacking with a person because you do not have a place to live. Okay? You have to understand that our hardships do not change the do not change the do not change God's law. They do not change they do not change who God is. There's no exceptions to the rule. A sin is sin. Okay? There are some sins that are just outright obvious. And sexual sin is one of those. Sexual impur impurity is definitely one of those. Amen. So let us grow in the Lord and not wait for someone to come and name our sin one by one. One by one. Okay. Let us all just clean our own closets. Okay. <clears throat> just living in sin. Um, it's not a uh, living in sin in itself is going to block um blessings um it can be from ranging from big things to small things like perhaps you stealing stationery from work that stationery stationery was bought for this and that and you misusing it abusing it taking advantage it's wrong guys it is wrong so let us be careful of the little foxes that are sin and which are hidden and we should rather close our eyes and pretend that and, and pretend that they are okay okay you can justify the situation by yourself but if you were to stand before god with the devil the devil can out he can outspeak you he will definitely win that case at the end of the day you have your conscience okay so if you're living in sin mm -mm, like no I, I do not see how how the Lord is going to bless, like God does not bless sin. God does not bless nonsense. Amen. <clears throat> that is why we live a life of repentance for no one is perfect. We all fall short of the glory of God. Therefore, we live a life of repentance. No one is perfect. Okay. But not a person who's deliberately living a life of sin. Amen. Again, this dream, this dream, does not include withered trees, rotten fruits, funny looking fruits, funny looking trees, none of that. Okay? Like I said, when you dream of fruits or fruit trees, it's a good dream. It represents success, progress, big changes in your life, elevation, being moved from one level to the next. The levels are different. You may have dreamt of a basket, dreamt of a tree, dreamt of an orchard. Do you see the different, do you see the different levels? So it's up to God where he wants to put it. That is why we, we, we watch our own way, our own walk with God and not compare ourselves with another person. 
because if what person A, if person A gets a basket and they're concentrating on person B with a tree, they will not be able to appreciate the blessing that they have. Amen. It represents elevation, prosperity, honor. It represents honor. That is why um, it, it, it can also go in with dreams of fame, like you will be known. Um, just like the, 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 the promise made to Abraham, okay? You will be known, okay? And in this, in today's, in today's language, it literally just means that you will be known, you will sought after. And literally means fame. And that's not for everybody. That's not for everybody. That is why I'm saying these dreams, they, they, they come in, they don't, they don't go in, they, they come in a series, okay? But as you're able to look at them, you'll be able to understand, like, what is it that seems to be repetitive? And that's the message for you, okay? It can mean success, upliftment, progress, changes, and fame. Or it could just mean riches um, and success. And uh, even fame in itself is at different levels. You can be successful and be well-known in your community. It can be nationally. It can be internationally. You understand? Everything has levels. It represents rewards. And this comes from patience, from perseverance, because like I said, it takes time for a tree to grow. It takes time for a tree to grow and to yield fruits, okay? And for the fruit to be ripe for you to eat. It takes time. Uh, you have to wait for harvest time, okay? Fruitfulness, the ability to multiply, okay? Fulfillment and achievement. Now, with fruitfulness, it can mean many things. It can be, be can be, it can refer to fruits of the womb. It can be fruitfulness in your work, or fruitfulness or um all around your life. Because um other areas of your life may be more fruitful than others. It does not mean that others are dormant. It just means that it's possible for some to or to be more fruitful than others, as it is right now with your life. Amen. So yeah, guys, um, I know there are many people that I know it's not everybody who, who, who is a heavy dreamer, but when you do dream, I ask that you take the time and write down your dreams, even if they do not make sense. And some dreams you may feel are not from the Lord. All I advise is it won't hurt for you to just write down, write it down, get yourself a journal, get yourself a book, write down the dates. And write down as many things as you can remember, what you saw, what you felt, how the weather was like, the color, the emotions, as much as you can remember, the clothes, how were you comfortable, things like that. You need to, to write them down because as I, as I carry on sharing these dreams, you will, be, you will thank yourself for, for, for detailing your dreams as much as possible. Um, thank you, guys. Um, bless you. Um, for anyone who may have any other question, I try to cover as many questions as I thought. So if you feel there's something you want me to address, or if you want to ask, just ask. And if I don't know, I will tell you, I do not know. Okay. And if I know, I will know. Okay. And if you want some scripture to back up the things, you can also ask. Amen. So yeah, God bless.